Hello everyone, my name is Ava Silverberg. I'm from Montrose High School and this summer I spent um, working with the University of Washington students and the Brosey Lab at Rumble or the Rocky Mountain Biological Lab in Crested Butte, Colorado and we were working with entomology research. So I first got to meet my mentor, Chris Anderson, which Sarah mentioned. He's a Harvard graduate and PhD candidate. Um, I got to meet him while we were doing the punk science activities in Telluride. We had interactive insect handling and identification for kids. So you can see they're holding um, a tomato hornworm and a Madagascar cockroach, which was new for me. <laughs> um, and there also was an activity where they could go to a local pond and catch insects and bring them back to Chris and he would identify them and teach them about their roles in ecosystems. So that was my first couple of days. And then I got to drive down to Crested Butte and start my internship. So there um, we were mainly focused on conducting experiments on pollination dynamics and flower behavior to find out how a diversity of pollinator visits would affect seed production in different plant species. So we worked with um, species like Linum lewisii, Geranium sanguine, and um, Delphinium natellium. So you can see um, on the left there, that is the Linum lewisii, which is the one we primarily focused on. And then you can see in the middle picture, a, um, one of our Polynopticon camera systems um, focused on that geranium flower. And we also um, worked with something called the Thunderdome, which is where we would put netting over a couple of plants and then enclose about 15 to 20 extra insects in there to hopefully increase um, pollination visits. And we would then track the seed production from there. I was only there for a couple of weeks, so I wasn't able to see the full results of this research. But um, they'll go out again at the end of the season and um, count the seeds from each flower that we worked with and see how the visits affected the seed production. Uh, while I was there, I also got to work with this other group called QNEST, researching network dynamics and manipulations. So um, at their site, which was pretty close to ours, we would monitor randomized segments um, for about a minute and a half, and every time we would observe um, an insect interacting with the reproductive organs of the flower, we would pause the timer and try our best to catch the insects. Um, if we couldn't catch them, we would just kind of make a guess about what we thought it was. But if we could catch it, we would put them in these vials containing ethyl acetate, which would euthanize them, um, and we would send them back to UW for further identification. But yeah, we would label them. Um, if they were bees, though, we would just catch them, um, do our best to identify them, and then release them, because bees are super important for ecosystems. Um, for one of the manipulations we did, um, at the second site, um, we applied quinine, which is a bitter substance, to potentilla pulcarima flowers um, in those randomized plots. And we would also do the same thing, monitor them, catch the bugs um, that we would see. And um, that was aimed at exploring um, the cascading effects on floral visitation patterns, either in that um, randomized area or potentially in the surrounding areas. Um, with some of those uh, insects that we catch, I also got to work in the lab and pin some surfids and bees. And then lastly, uh, I spent a day in the lab um, doing tea tests with my mentor. Uh, not too complicated stuff, but just learning the basics. Um, we determined the statistical difference um, between the time spent filming Linum lewisii and Delphinium natellium, and it was around the same. Uh, we found a p-value of around um, 0.6, so no statistical difference. But that was just kind of cool to get a basic on our programming, especially since I'm taking statistics this year. So that was helpful. Uh, as far as free time, I uh, was there with another past intern, uh, Cheska. And um, we went to the farmer's market. We did yoga classes in the park. Um, and we swam in a couple local lakes. And then as far as housing, uh, I was placed with this lovely host mom, um, Jessica Gennari. She was a past art teacher here uh, at Telluride, but she now lives in Crested Butte. Um, and that was the view from my house, so it was really beautiful. Um, what I learned and why I would recommend this internship, I learned a lot of field work skills like operating camera systems and identifying pollinators. I got to work with R and statistical analysis, and I got some research insights like um, learning more about pollinator and plant interactions and data collection methods, 
And I'd really recommend this internship because I got to work with some really passionate, intelligent people. And um, whether you do this specific internship or any other internship given to you by Pinhead, it's such an amazing organization for STEM internships and I'd really recommend it. And a thank you to these people.